It's so easy to feel overwhelmed by life. There are always new challenges arising a difficult illness, financial troubles, relationship issues, work problems. The list goes on and on. In those times when waves of anxiety wash over you, it's important to remember that as a Christian, you don't have to handle any of this on your own. God promises to be with you through every high and low. In Matthew 28 verse 20, Jesus says, And surely I am with you always, to the very end of the age. What comfort there is in knowing that Jesus Christ himself walks by your side. The God of the universe, the great I am, is ever-present in your life. You can find strength in his presence. When you feel weak, lost or defeated, call upon his name. Let your anxieties spill out in prayer. Lay every burden down at his feet. Let his peace flow over you, guarding your heart and mind. The Bible reminds us over and over that we have a God who cares deeply for his children. In 1 Peter 5 verse 7 it says, Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. Bring your overwhelmness to God because he longs to lift your burdens. There is no problem too big for him to solve or pain too deep for him to heal. He knows you intimately and wants to comfort you through life's storms. No matter what trial may come, stand firm on the truth that Jesus calms every storm. In Mark 4, Jesus and the disciples were in a boat when a furious storm arose. As waves crashed over the boat, the disciples feared they would perish. But Jesus got up, rebuked the wind and said to the waves, Quiet! Be still! Then the wind died down, and it was completely calm. Just as he spoke to the storm that day, he speaks to the storms in your own life. His voice shouts peace to every wind and wave. We all face storms like illness, job loss or tragedy. Yet even in turbulent times, Jesus whispers, Peace be still, over your life. He will give you his perfect perspective to see purpose in every pain. Take comfort in knowing nothing takes God by surprise. He is sovereign over every circumstance and works all things for the good of those who love him. In your weakest moments, God's strength will be revealed. The Lord actually delights in using our frailty to display his power. As 2 Corinthians 12 verse 9 says, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Let this truth soak into your soul. When you feel completely spent, God's power will lift you up. His grace will sustain you. Jesus promises mercy for your failures and new hope for each new day. Do not lose heart or give up hope when faced with more than you can bear. God sees you in your pain. He will renew your strength when you are weary. The prophet Isaiah penned these words from the Lord. Even youths grow tired and weary, and young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. What an incredible promise! Place your hope fully in Him. Let His Spirit fill you each morning. He will give you the strength to not just survive but to thrive and soar. You were not created to carry the weight of the world on your shoulders. The burdens you bear were meant to be laid at Christ's feet. Sometimes God allows overwhelmness in our lives to remind us that we need Him. We need to rely on His strength, not our own. We need to cling to His truth and not our circumstances. We need to rest in His love and not our achievements. Don't believe the lie that everything depends on you. The world depends on Jesus, and He holds you securely in His hands. Beyond this world of chaos and uncertainty, Jesus has overcome. He has risen and defeated death forever. The grave could not contain Him. The Creator of all that exists defeated sin and shame. He lives and reigns forevermore. This is the truth that helps us walk confidently in our identity and purpose. Colossians 2 verse 15 says, And having disarmed the powers and authorities, he made a public spectacle of them, triumphing over them by the cross. Whatever power evil may seem to have in this world is broken. The true authority belongs to our Savior alone. 
When you feel powerless, cling to the power of Christ within you. His strength is made perfect in your weakness. You are an overcomer through Christ, so never give up hope. Fix your eyes on Jesus and let his joy rise within you. He smiles as you take steps of faith. He exults over you, singing and dancing with delight. Can you hear the song of the Lord over your life today? Listen for his melody of grace to drown out any other voices in your mind. Let his loving approval soak deep into your spirit. You are a precious, beloved child of God. You bring him joy simply by trusting in his love. Whatever overwhelms you today, whatever giants stand in your way, God promises to make a way through. There is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain and crush every foe. Take heart. He has overcome the world. His perfect love casts out all fear. He turns reaping into dancing and beauty from ashes. Trust in him wholeheartedly. With Christ in you, no weapon formed against you can prosper. The enemy is already defeated. Jesus is your firm foundation. On Christ the solid rock you stand. Every other ground is sinking sand. As you walk with Jesus, you will share in his authority and power. You will see walls crumble and chains break as you advance his kingdom day by day. With prayer and faith, you can move mountains for his glory. As Matthew 17 verse 20 declares, Truly I tell you, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, Move from here to there, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. God has equipped you with his word, his spirit, and his holy presence. With these weapons you can wage war against the lies and attacks of the enemy. Take up the full armor of God each day. Put on the belt of truth to fight against deception. Wear his righteousness like a breastplate against condemnation. Fix the gospel of peace firmly beneath your feet. Raise the shield of faith to extinguish every flaming arrow. Cover your head with the helmet of salvation to protect your mind. Take up the sword of the Spirit which is the Word of God. Pray at all times in the power of the Holy Spirit. The battle belongs to the Lord, and He leads you to victory. March confidently into spiritual warfare, not in your might but through Christ's power living in you. His angels encamp around those who fear Him. All heaven cheers as you advance the kingdom. The harvest belongs to God, so never grow weary as you labor in faith. One day you'll stand before the throne and hear, Well done, good and faithful servant. The trials you face today are light and momentary, compared with the eternal glory to come. Until that day, cling to Jesus. Abide in the vine, stay rooted in his words. Seek his face above all else. Spend time resting in His presence daily. Allow Him to fill your cup continually with His living water. Stay connected to the true vine, bearing fruit that will last. Apart from Him you can do nothing. But in Him, all things are possible. There is no problem too big for the God who spoke the universe into being. Renew your strength by waiting on the Lord. Listen for His voice of truth cutting through the noise and lies. Let his peace lead you down the path of wisdom. Dear friend, you were made for more than this world can provide. You were created for a purpose greater than you can imagine. God has dreams and plans for your life that will blow you away. Don't believe the enemy's lies that say you are forsaken. The truth is you have never walked alone. Even when you feel inadequate or afraid, God is with you, holding you close to his heart. He sings over you with unending joy. You bring a smile to the face of Jesus with every act of faith. We have a big God who holds this world in the palm of his hand. Trust him. Rest in him. Take refuge in him. He will never fail you. No one can snatch you from his powerful grip. You are loved, chosen, and called according to his purpose. With such truth in our hearts, what challenge is too great? What work is too hard? We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. 
Let us pray. Almighty Father, You are the Great I Am. There is no one higher than You. You spoke the universe into existence and hold all things together by Your power. Your ways are perfect, Your love is endless, and Your sovereignty reigns supreme. I worship You as my Lord and King. Lord Jesus, You came to earth to redeem me and set me free. You bore my sin and shame on the cross, offering your body as a sacrifice to make me righteous before the Father. Death could not hold you, and you rose victoriously over sin, hell and the grave. Seated now at the Father's right hand, you intercede for me always. I am in awe of your mercy and grace. Precious Holy Spirit, thank you for dwelling within me, guiding me each day. You comfort me in sorrow, convict me of sin, and empower me to live for Christ. I depend on you fully to illuminate God's truth in my heart and mind. Fill me constantly with wisdom, discernment, strength, and supernatural hope. Triune God, as I reflect today, I am reminded that you are greater than any struggle I face. Forgive me for trying to handle life's challenges in my own finite strength. I confess I often feel anxious, overwhelmed and unequipped. I take my eyes off you and fixate on my problems. I forget how deeply you love me and lose sight of your sovereignty. Lord, I release all my fears, doubts and anxieties into your hands today. When turmoil surrounds me, lead me back to your truth. Remind me of your constant presence. No matter what storms may come, you have power to calm the winds and waves. Give me ears to hear your voice saying, Peace, be still over the chaos. I know that in my weakest moments, your strength will be revealed. Use my struggles to display your glory. Help me to boast in my weaknesses, that the power of Christ may dwell in me. Thank you for the promise that your grace is sufficient for me. I am not defined by what I do, but by who I am in you. Forgive me for trying to shoulder burdens you never intended me to carry alone. I lay every care down at your feet today. I relinquish control, knowing you are sovereign over every circumstance. Give me discernment to separate what I can cast onto you versus what you are calling me to step into in faith and boldness. Lord, I ask you to renew my spirit when I am weary or feel inadequate. Strengthen my feeble knees and weary heart. Surround me with your joy and remind me of your purpose. I know your plans for me are good. As I wait on you, restore my soul. Help me walk in step with your spirit each day. Thank you for the power and authority you have given me through Christ. With you by my side, I will not fear the enemy's attacks and accusations. I stand on the victory Jesus purchased at Calvary. Through prayer and declaring your word, allow me to demolish strongholds and advance your kingdom. As I put on the full armor of God, Protect my mind and guard my heart. Jesus, you have overcome the world. Because you live and reign forever, I have no reason to be anxious or dismayed. This world is not my home. I belong to your kingdom that cannot be shaken. I fix my eyes on you, the author and perfecter of my faith. You make all things beautiful in your timing. I choose to abide in your love and trust in your ways. Lord God, continue to fill me with your strength, joy, and supernatural peace. As I walk in intimate fellowship with you each day, let your Spirit flow through me to impact others for your glory. Use me as an instrument of righteousness and a light in the darkness. I pray that the motivational words I've read today will remind me always that you are my firm foundation. With you, I can withstand every stormy trial and overcome by the power of Christ within me. I love you and praise you, my Savior, Redeemer, and Friend. Be glorified through my life today and every day. I surrender all that I am to you. I ask these things in the mighty, matchless name of Jesus, my Lord and King. Amen. <laughs>